Wow, 25 months, that's like 25 months. Thank you for the laugh, Scorpy. Sean. Sean. Jesus is Lord, 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 Lord. Twenty months. The big old two zero. Good God. Wow. Chat, can I get an X to Jason? 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 Ja Asul. Jason. Still sitting, still sitting. Yui 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 sound of crying pip 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 Woe 14. That's so many. Sean. 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 Sa a a a a on. Jesus is Lord, Lord, Lord. Showing.
Hello. Hello. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, 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 Hi. Still sitting. Still sitting. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. H L L H L H L H L H L H L H L H L L H L H L H L H L L L H H L H H L H H L L H H L L H L H L H L H L H L H L H L H L H L H L H L H L H L H L H L H L H L H L H L H L H L H L H L H L H L H L H L H L H L Joker ask. Is this chat giving you a hard time? I've fought chats like this before. <laughs> yeah, you probably know. Thank you for the soup. Thank you for the dono as well. Thank you for the 203% hype train. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, we are playing heavy rain tonight. 22 Umoth yippee 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 yippee. Heavy rain is a strange game. Um, I remember buying that game for full price when it came out in 2010, and I I thought it was amazing. I was like, "Wow, this is the, this looks the graphics will never be this good ever again. The story is amazing. It was so cinematic. I can't believe it. It made me cry as a kid. I was like, "Oh my god, I love this game so much." Do Aragami Killer. I was like, wow, and all the twists and turns. I was like, wow. Um And then I, I didn't I didn't I didn't touch it for twelve years. That was twelve years ago. Um And now I thought it'd be fun to revisit it because I remember I remember most of the twists in the story. But I played it very seriously my first time through. Um, this time, I think I'm gonna have I'm gonna have more fun with it. This is not if if you want, if you want, yeah, I don't know how this thing has aged. I mean, I don't. I think in terms of how like serious it is, it's probably aged terribly, because within the first probably two minutes, the game is gonna break that illusion instantly, and it's gonna be really, really really not <laughs> serious <laughs> i'm assuming within the first two minutes it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna make me laugh so fucking hard because it will look like a toy like a like a kid's toy um but at the same time like i think i think it'll be fun to fuck around in this game can't wait for it to rain heavily. Smile, my plants I think this some is watering. The perfect game to play. Pretty much wrong. Wowza. The entire time. Um, I also don't think uh, that there are any uh, Quantic Dreams games that have aged well. So. I think. I think when we play this game, we see it. We see it through the lens of something that Always is almost less is than almost three. alien. I think from I don't really remember much about it, but I'm assuming it just will contain every noir Jason. film noir trope ever, but also uh, with the added ex uh, bad execution of uh, Quantic Dream being French. So. I remember what endings I got. Yeah, I'll I'll probably talk about it more towards the end. I'll, there's people here that might. I, I'm assuming most people here haven't played the game. This is a 12 year old game. Like, 
I was barely I was barely cognizant when I played the game, so I'm assuming most people here haven't played the game. Yeah, but make a make a poll to see who's played it. Uh, I don't want to spoil anything. I also don't think it's that important if I do. But uh, the endings I got. Um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be specific, but I got this I got the sad ending for um shit with the detective who uses uh, VR glasses. I got his sad ending. Um, Norman Jaden. Nam and Jaden. I got Nam and Jaden's sad ending. Um, this game takes place in Philadelphia for no reason. I got. <laughs> I got. Uh, I got the sad ending for Ethan, and I think Madison's. I can't believe I remember the characters' names. Madison's ending was not sad, and Scott Shelby's sad. Uh, scene was not uh, ending was not sad. Um, this uh, this game is special in that when it came out, there weren't many games that were doing this, but it's essentially an interactive movie. There's some gameplay you could walk around, but a lot of it's QTEs. And if you mess up a QTE and a character dies, the character dies for the rest of the game. Um. And in that sense, in that sense, I think it was very interesting back then. It was very novel. Uh, I'm very interested in seeing how how it will turn out in a playthrough where I don't really give a fuck who dies and who doesn't. Um, but yeah. This is also for me a way to, uh, to test the waters for this kind of game because I want to stream Detroit was it Detroit 2 Human? What's the fucking name? Almost... Almost Human? Become Human. <laughs> I want to stream Detroit Become Human. This is a way for me to test the waters because... Uh, obviously it's a David Cage game. Obviously it's a Quantic Dream game. These games have very questionable things in them. So I'm trying to test the waters of being able to... Being able to play through things like that in a way where... We're looking at it through a lens of, obviously, we're not taking it seriously, and we don't believe in those things, and, like, obviously we don't agree, and we can laugh at how fucking ridiculous it is. Um, because I've heard that there's some crazy shit in it that's just, like, so stupid. That it made me want to try it out, but all I've seen is, like, a few clips here and there, so I don't know. We'll see how this one goes. think we're all i think i think we're all on the same page of if we see something in these in these kinds of games aka french games um <laughs> if we see something that yeah is like racist or misogynistic or whatever you know what i said french games um that could be like that sucks know that it sucks and then find at least some sort of silver lining around that aka the terrible execution um and obviously if it's nothing but this sort of terrible experience then that would be very different but from what i remember of heavy rain there's some parts of it that suck but for the most part it's just a mess a mess that i think would be fun to watch so i think that's that's why i decided to do this I'm looking forward to I'm looking I'm looking forward to to, to playing this game Sean from from almost like in a, in a in a performative sense because when I played it as a kid I was playing it fully serious I was like I want to make sure everyone has the best ending I don't want to fuck up if I fucked up I would sometimes save scum and I would reload saves this time really if I fuck up a QTE that's it if Ethan dies in the first two minutes uh He's on the seesaw with his kid and he pushes too and this kid pushes too hard and he goes flying off into space and he's dead. That's it. Like I'm not I'm not bringing Ethan back. So Put your controls down the, during the chase scenes. I don't want to do, do complete inactivity, but I definitely I'm definitely if 
wonder because there's a difficulty setting too i don't know how that affects the qtes i wonder if max difficulty would actually legitimately be hard Mega64's Heavy Rain video is iconic. Easier difficulties make QTEs more lenient, let you fail more QTEs in a sequence before you hit a fail state. Okay, I'd actually like to fail as much as possible because I want to see every, every animation this game has. People are saying fail the orange juice QTE. I've seen that one a lot. That's not the no that's not the right that's not the right music this is the right music i wish i wish there was an easier way to update that command every stream but yeah i'm i'm trying to i'm trying to soak in as much of this game as possible i want to see every animation i want to see every animation slowed down you know as soon as i get into the game this game has this game has qts but this game also has like time-based QTEs where to get up you have to like slowly move the stick upward and you could just stay frozen in a half sitting position and I'm going to be doing that a lot I'm going to be doing half QTEs a lot so you know that's going to happen anyways I think we should get Jason. started I think we should get started Yeah, I think from what I remember in most sequences, like, I just try to succeed in in a couple of them until I can tell that I'm in, like, a specific Two. sequence, and then I can just fail intermittently. I just don't want to close too many doors by not doing anything, you know? Because I want to try and explore as many branches as possible in this game. Alright. We're ready. Let's go. You're ready to be sad. This game also, I remember when it came out, this game was like advertised as like this, the saddest game ever. This game will make you cry so much. Hell on David Cage technique. Also, it's supposed to be a rainy night tonight, so I figured it'd be topical. Also, that being said, um, Ranger is heavy. <laughs> Yo, thank you, vegetables! Thank you, vegetables, for the soup! Welcome! You can eat, I don't have a bowl of vegetables, but you can have a bowl of chips if you want. There's that. Alright, how's how's the game audio versus my my mouth? Game audio is a little loud. Mouth is great. Game audio is a little loud. Alright, here we go. How about how about this? Man? There we go. Subtitles? Yes, subtitles are on. Yes, I'm fairly sure. I'm very interested in seeing how this game... So, the difficulty... How, what is this menu? I don't know what I'm choosing right now. Okay. I play video games quite regularly. Yeah? Where would I see... Would it be in graphics? Down. Maybe it'll, uh, it'll ask me for subtitles when I start the game. Alright, let's go. Get fucking ready. I'm telling you, this game was like... When this game came out in 2010, it was like a landmark that event in games, strong. I feel. 
It's gonna be really fun seeing just. <laughs> Alrighty, I'm laughing. <laughs> Sean. That's so sad. Oh god, no, I'm late. Did I, I miss remember. any breathtaking story? No. Nope. Any heart-rending content? We just started. I remember now, this game starts out very, very... They hit you with a mallet over the head with the sadness. Wah 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 I'm so sad already stop him crying That's a bit loud I'm gonna turn the lights down after I get out of bed <laughs> I'm up he falls off. Oops. <laughs> Thank you for Lunchables Hearts. Why his bed so tiny? His bed is tiny. I mean, it's French. But well, I guess we're in Philadelphia right now. I'm so scared. I can't open this. I'm so scared. Oh. What's going to be in here? Oh, I can't look. No. Hey, if I hold it in too long, it just like, it stops it for me. Let me do this as much as I want. Oh, nothing new in here. <laughs> I better take a shower and get dressed before I go downstairs. I don't remember him sounding so goofy. Uh, maybe I don't want to reminisce right now. Uh, I could use reminiscing. Uh, my wife. <laughs> That's us. I'm so excited to see you play this wear carpet smell game. Yo, thank you for the 5,000 Lunchables hearts. I am thank happy you. when school people play game. <laughs> thank you, Angel Leaky. Pick it up. I actually didn't mean to do it that time. Gone shopping. I'll pick the kids up from school at lunchtime. And then I'll come home to get things ready for Jason's oh. birthday party. Don't work too hard. I love you. Grace. Princess Toadstool. Peach.
Why, why are you looking at me? Don't do that. You can't do that. This is a video game. You don't know I'm here. Oh, I'm so scared. What's going to be behind this door? What is that? What is that? God, what a great looking bird. Where do I live? What is this place? I'm loaded. A fucking slap. Oh. It's actually really hard to like get specific. Look at his smile. Look at that. Look at that smile. He really likes it. Come on. Come on. Jump out the mirror. I know you want to kill me. No toothpaste today. Oh, yes, sir. I'll take that. My phone. <laughs> no! Unfold the movement slowly with the right stick. Ow. Ow. How long? How, let me just do this forever? This is so slow. Is this the Jason game? <laughs> you really hate shaving. Oh my god. He hates this shit. Holy shit, my most hated game. This is so exciting. <laughs> Looking, looking good, looking good, Ethan. God, your fingers. Do you have hair on your fingers? Got the foley work right now is. I don't brush my teeth. <laughs> Shower, or towel. Where am I? I'm so lost. <laughs> what? This isn't my house. Why am I in here? Might as well brush my teeth. <laughs> Look at his face. Look at that smile. The big, beautiful, pearly whites. So happy about brushing his teeth. Look at that. Oh 
Hey, this is actually hard. Why, why is this so difficult? Now what do I do? Scorpion Where's my wife? I don't know what to do. Shake the Wemo to stop crying quick hurry. Where's my wife? There's no P. Oh, they didn't even do a QTE for peeing. I don't flush. So many moths. I'm late. Wait. Oh, he just needed music. He's good. Oh. Done. Better take a shower and get dressed before I go downstairs. <laughs> Whoa. I don't, better take a shower and get oh, someone's home. Ring, ring. What? How do I? <laughs> Why did they turn the music on at this point? Yo, it's a sad shower. I'm so sad right now. Oh. 
I'm pretty sure you see you see everyone naked in this game. Everyone has a shower scene. Why? French. We said it earlier. Yeah, what kind of shower was that? Hold on a second. I had no say in how long that was. No soap, nothing. Just... This towel seems, like, rough. And shower. <laughs> The cloth physics are unreal. This man has ass on screen. Same underwear. I don't think that's the same underwear. It's just the same uh, boring monotone color palette of underwear that he only has. He only has black and olive green. I should get dressed before going downstairs. Bro, it's your house. Want to walk around in, in tidy whities Oh, you could switch camera. <laughs> wow, thank you so much. Thank you so much for allowing me these two perspectives. <laughs> Let's see the drip. Ethan Drip. Nice jeans. Not button up shirt. Look at that, the wedding ring. Is this guy giving you a hard time? I've fought a guy <laughs> like this before. Oh, I got this before. Yo, look at that. You even got the boat shoes going on. Good. <laughs> Can you go downstairs, please? No. Oh, it's a birthday. That's why he's so scared. the whitest screen you're gonna see nice day outside maybe I could squeeze in a little garden time I've got some time before grace and the kids get back better get some work done music thirsty coffee TV maybe there's something on TV I could just relax on the couch until grace and the kids come back I hope Grace found a present for Jason's birthday. I'm thirsty. Should be some orange juice in the fridge. Oof, it's stuffy in here. I should get some fresh air in the garden. How about some music? It's almost lunchtime. Grace and the kids will be back any minute. I could go for a cup of coffee.
talking about toss grapes. Why is it shaking like that? hate when the fridge plays sad music when I open it. I'm just gonna make some coffee instead. Oh. Wait, it's not letting me do it. I haven't, I, done it, I didn't do the orange juice yet. Dad, hey, Dad. take it easy, you're gonna knock me over. Uh, so this is your big day, huh? Am I grown up now? Mm, <laughs> I years forgot old, about the kid not actors. Exactly grown up, but you're getting there. Now, can I drive your car? And I think you're gonna have to wait a little while for that. <laughs> I forgot about how bad they are. Ethan, can you please help me? I'm coming. Hey, thanks a lot for helping me out, Ethan. <laughs> uh, they've been so excited since this morning. I could hardly keep them in line in the supermarket. How's your day been? Managed to get any work done? Hmm. I guess that means no. Okay, seems you don't want to talk about it. But I, I, I'm, I'm legitimately thinking if I should restart to do the orange juice QTE. I don't know if I'm not going to be able to do that anymore. I don't think I could restart, though. We already did so much. Ugh, I've got a billion things to do. It'll never be ready before Jason's pals arrive. Can you please help me? Uh, there should be plates in the living room cupboard. Wait, what happens if I go back? Okay, let's see. I'll speed run it then next time. Okay, if I continue, where does it start? I know this game has auto saves. Damn it. All right, let's fucking speed run it. We already know exactly what to do. It's just another day. Another Saturday. I 
It's such strange shots. He barely sleeps on the bad. I've been programmed to do one and one thing, Gone and that's shower. shower. I'll pick the kids up from school at lunchtime, and then I'll come home to get things ready for Jason's birthday party. Don't work too hard. I love you. I better take a shower and get dressed before I go downstairs. I love that this fucking sad piano music comes on every time he showers. Oh. Hey, did, he, did he not use soap? He is using soap, I think. Yeah, world's fastest shower. I love two two messages one after the other. He's still dirty. You're not clean. You're not clean. I'm not shaving. Wonder how that'll change the course of things. Wait, but that means we have to do another thing again. Because we restarted. My lame ass drip on. Are you kidding me? This is all Gucci. Ethan's got Ethan's got nothing but Gucci pads, Gucci shirt. It's decked out. Time for me to go downstairs and make my famous orange juice. Hurry up! I'm like not even doing a bit now. It's just really hard to control him. Nice day outside. Maybe I could squeeze in a little garden time. I've got some time before Grace and the kids get back. Better get some work done. I'm thirsty. Should be some orange juice in the fridge. It is raining heavy upon my mouth. <laughs> oh, 
The animals hit! The animals are hitting, Ethan! The animals are eating. Look, just take a sip! Come on, it's okay! <laughs> I'm like unable to do this QTE for some reason. Like I can't curl it downwards like it wants me to. Oh, the timer. Fuck the coffee. Maybe there's something on TV. I could just relax on the couch until Grace and the kids come back. How about some music? It's almost lunchtime. Grace and the kids will be back any minute. Oof, it's stuffy in here. I should get some fresh air in the garden. I could go for a cup of coffee. I hope Grace found a present for Jason's birthday. No. I don't want to go outside. It's too scary. like corner of the thing shining like that let's watch tv
Mm, yeah, I'm having a hard time with these specific ones. Like, I can't, I can't curl it up. I remember seeing stuff on the on the Steam community hub that like the analog stick dead zones are messed up for this game or something. I might have to change that. Oh, I'm an architect. I forgot about that. I forgot he's an architect. Sit down, motherfucker. Good day's work done. I'm about to relax now. Oh, my lovely family's here. Dad, hey, Dad. take it easy. You're gonna knock me over. Hey, you'll never know what I, you'll never guess what I did today. I drew a line. Am I grown up now? Hmm, ten years <laughs> old. That's not exactly grown up, but you're getting there. Now, can I drive your car? And I think you're gonna have to wait a little while for that. Ethan, can you please help me? Yo, they went to hard eight. I'm coming. <laughs> hey, everyone, did you see that Scroby completed the multiverses battle pass? I did. <laughs> Need a hand, Ethan? No, thanks. I'm fine. I'm all thumbs today. I'm all thumbs today. Ugh, they've been so excited since this morning. I could hardly keep them in line in the supermarket. How's your day been? Managed to get any work done? Uh, not really. I tried, <laughs> but I didn't really nail it. <laughs> I only get inspired because we're supposed to be presenting the plans to the clients next month. Hmm. Not the greatest sketch I've ever drawn. Maybe I should try again. Not the greatest sketch I've ever drawn. Maybe I should try again. So, uh, 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 out you in. I literally can't do this movement. I need to fix the the analog dead zone issue. I actually can't do this. I actually can't do it. Oh no. Wait, we're just gonna sit- actually, no, I'm gonna go outside. I'm gonna fight my son with a sword. That's what Why I'll do. Hmm. WTF. Not the greatest sketch I've ever drawn. Maybe I should try again. Oh my god, will it not let me progress try unless I draw? Later.
Oh no, it was open already. Hey, Dad, are you gonna come and yeah, play, Dad, with us, come play with us, come please? Come on. Okay, okay. Hey, five minutes, boys. Okay. After that, we've got to eat because your friends are gonna be here. Okay, soon. we promise, Mom. Who wants to go first? Me first. No, me, me first. first. <laughs> Easy, fellas. You can both have a turn. Sorry, Dad's a bit. Dad's feeling a bit uh, all thumbs today. Sorry about this. Just don't have the back I used to. It's okay. All right, one more. Time. Let's go. Okay, Sean, get ready. Here we go. <laughs> So awkward. It's my turn now. All right, Jason, let's do the helicopter. <laughs> Come on, Dad. Big muscles. Be careful. Hang on. <laughs> God, this is so embarrassing. My wife's watching. Fuck. Oh, come on, dude. You got this, Ethan. Come on. Ha, <laughs> 
Oh, what a fucking failure! <laughs> this time you're done for. You're gonna pay for all your Yo, I'm gonna time. fucking destroy. Ah, <laughs> surrender, weakling. Say your prayers. <laughs> Lay down, clown! Lay down! Food's ready, kids. You coming in? in? Lunchtime. I better not keep everyone waiting. This dad would eat the ripe peach on the table. Ah, uh, yes, my house. I'm going in. Sean, lunch is ready. Yo, what do I'll we go got? Oh my god, we have our famous meat squares. I love it. Thank you so much. My favorite meal. I'm gonna get some orange juice for my dinner. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I should finish that drawing. Why isn't Sean at the table? He should be around here somewhere. Hold on, I, I need to fix my dead zone on the analog controller. I should probably do that now before a, a really important segment is ruined. <laughs> because I can't maneuver the analog stick properly. What the fuck did you just do? I forgot to brush my teeth. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna stare at Ethan in the in the mirror as I uh modify the, the dead zone of my analog controller real quick. Who's walking? I hear walking. That's not me. Did anyone hear that? Who the fuck is that? All right, controller configuration, right axis, ABS. 
Additional settings, dead zone outer. Thank you for the dono. This has been a lot of fun so far. I money for a mate square. Enjoy. <laughs> Thank you. I really I completely forgot how funny this game was. We're like not we're still in the tutorial. We're still in the tutorial, which is so wild. I don't want to leave the tutorial. Right, additional settings, dead zone outer. Push this to a hundred. All right, I guess we'll see what what what, ch what that changes. There we go. Hopefully that that helps. Oh lord, what's happening? There we go. <laughs> this is so creepy. There's no animation, too. There's no animation. Sean? What's up? It's Merlin. He's dead. He's dead and it's all my fault. No, it's not, Sean. Of course it's not your fault. I'd give anything if you could come back to life. You know, Sean, there's some things which just have to happen. Even if you don't want them to. That's not fair, Dad. It's not fair. Oh, fuck. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, this is pre-rendered. Oh, boy. Y'all ready to get teleported back to 2011? Sure, no problem. We're not going anywhere, are we, Jason? Come on, honey. Yeah, we're not going anywhere. There he fucking goes! Kid just walks away! <laughs> Sucks so much. I'll bet he's gone to see the clown. Jason. 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 There we go. We got. We have to do it. We have to do it. This is in in respect in respect to an OG meme. I'll bet he's gone to see the clown. 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 It hasn't even been. I'll bet he's gone to see the clown. I'll bet he's gone to see the clown. I'll bet he's gone to see the clown. He couldn't have gone far. He was here a second ago. I'll bet he's gone to see the clown. 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 Jason. 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 
<laughs> Jason. <laughs> Jason. Jason. I'll bet he's gone to see the clown. I'll bet he's gone to see the clown. Read, watch, listen. Jason. Thank you for the two soups, by the way. Jason. Jason. Where the hell is he? I'll bet he's gone to see the clown. Jason. Jason. I'll bet he's gone to see the clown. 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 Jason. I'll bet he's gone to see the clown. Why can't he run? I feel like I'll be running in this situation. Jason. Jason. Oh, Jason's got to be in teens up. Where are you? Jason. Jason. What do they even sell here? What are they? It's just nondescript boxes. Are these loot crates? I'll bet he's gone to see the clown. I'll bet he's gone to see the clown. Oh, look at these two exact identical animations. Jason. I'll bet he's gone to see the clown. Jason. Why did it allow me to look at those boots and nothing else? Why was that so important? Jason! Jason can't have gone this far. Hey, was that Madison? No. Huh? I'll bet he's gone to see the clown. I'll bet he's gone to see the clown. Kinda looks like her. Oh, there's the clown. Is that my son? Is that my hey, fucking son? Jason, you really shouldn't run her off like that, you know? There's an awful lot of people in here. Please, Dad, can I have one? Oh, that's my son. I didn't you even fucking know. I can't even Please, tell my, Dad, my own son. On. Okay, let's go buy a balloon. Great! <laughs> hey, Jen. What's your name? Jason. Which balloon would you like, Jason? Uh, the red one. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Great! That'll be two dollars, sir. Oh my god. Jason, wait for me. Wait for your dad, son. It's really crowded in here. Dude, why is he standing like this? You okay? Maybe he hates clowns.
I guess I'll just give you my belt. I've always hated clowns. Keep the change. Whoa, that was so fast. It is impossible to try on a pair of shoes with this crowd. Where's Jason? He was here a second ago. I no, he was I don't know. I was like I was I was dueling a clown earlier. Disappeared? I won. What do you mean disappeared? Stay here. I'll go get him. I don't remember. I don't remember this entire sequence being this fucking funny. Literally, the moment he did, you just see him walk off screen, and Ethan's just staring off into the distance. That fluoride stare. Jason. Right, here we go. Jason. The red balloon I bought should make him easier to spot. One second. I barely took my eyes off him for one second. Jason! 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 Quick, I need to go. Jason! <laughs> Jason! Keep. Jason! 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 I'm gonna go shopping real quick. Jason! <laughs> Jason! <laughs> Jason! 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 Video games store. Jason! 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 What is that store? That store is like nothing. There's, this is such a creepy store. It's, oh, terrible energy in there. Jason! 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 Fuck, I'm gonna lose. Jason! <laughs> I'm gonna fight. Jason! I should never take. Jason! Where is he? He must have gotten swept away by the. Jason! The red balloon! Jason! <laughs> the red balloon! The red balloon! The red balloon! Jason! The red balloon! Jason! The lapidated boat! <laughs> The red balloon. Follow Jason. The red balloon. Follow the Jason. What am I doing wrong? 
What the fuck is happening? What? Oh. Jason! What? What? What the fuck is happening? What is that? What, what the fuck is happening? What is this? What is this? Jason! What the fuck is that? Help me! Jason! 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 The red balloon! Jason! The red balloon, I thought. <laughs> Jason! I don't even know where he is. Oh, there's the balloon. There you are. The red balloon. Jason. Jason. God, you really had me scared. Jason. <laughs> the red balloon. Jason. The red balloon. Jason. Jason. Hey. The red balloon. Jason. The red balloon. Follow the red balloon. Jason. Jason. Shit. Shit. Jason. Wow, I I completely forgot we were in the tutorial. I forgot. We we're just now seeing the credits. <laughs> yeah, this looks like a PS2 game. PS3 game. That was the tutorial. Yo, it's gonna take me like 10 streams to finish this game if I play it like that. That was a lot of fun though.
I I thought, from what I remember, I thought that the kid getting hit was a QTE. And that, depending on the QTE, you could either turn to have your body take the hit, or the kid takes, like, the full brunt of it. I did not, I forgot that it was uh, pre-rendered. Jason is fine, everyone just got sad for fun. Hi, Sean. Dad. Oh, uh, so sad. <laughs> Don, you drive. I'm too sad. Sean's waiting for me in the car. I better go back. Let's go back home. Seems like he doesn't really want to talk. I'm late. Again. I know he doesn't like being the last one left at school. Heavy rain. It's been the same for weeks. <laughs> hey! Oh, yeah, I could do these now. I guess it fixed. It, that fixed it. Um. Okay, no seatbelt today. I my umbrella. God. I gotta drive. I don't know how to drive. I've never even taken a lesson, but here goes nothing. Oh, you actually can't control when you save. I didn't know that. Is there an icon that shows up when it auto saves? <laughs> I couldn't pull up the sound effect in time. Wow, auto mod caught we hate the French. Are you kidding me? Uh, what is it? What's happening? Did the game hear me and now it's like, oh, okay. I guess it had to render that shiny road. God, look at how much his life has changed. He was in the perfect architect mansion with uh, the perfect wife and now he's in a shitty Dog. He's got stubble. But the TV is bigger. For what that's worth. Grace has Sean this weekend. Seems like he can't wait to get back to his mother.
time for a snack. Maybe Sean is hungry. I wrote a reminder. Please, Dad. You're in front of the TV. Oh, sorry. <laughs> if Sean is hungry, he can find something for himself. It's still early. We'll see about the homework later. Sean hasn't done his homework yet. Man, there's no sink in this bathroom. It's just a toilet. What? This door doesn't play music, but this one does. Check this out. Oh, I guess it's broken. God, if only Sean could see this right now. A little, nothing like a little bit of mud basketball. It's raining. I'd better get back inside. Wait, Sean's the one that's alive? Oops. It's getting dark. Better turn on the light. Hey, get the fuck out of the kitchen! Where Are you I kidding home? me? I can't leave Sean hey. alone in the house. Excuse me. Did you know this game does tell? Don't show storytelling? A feat few other acclaimed media can successfully do. 4.30 snack. What time is it now? Okay. Oh god, orange juice. Yes! Oh fuck yes! Oh, I've been waiting for this one. Oh boy. It's been a while. Oh yes! So yeah, this is, oh man, no wonder why I've been so sad. Oh, I just need some fucking OJ. Let's go. This game's so weird.
Is this how you experience the real world, Scorsby? I was fucking shot! What is this? <laughs> this chair! This fucking chair! <laughs> Why is this so- this is so weird! This is so strange. You had your snap. You've got a cold coming on. I'm gonna see if I can find some medicine for you. What do you say we play together for a while? I'd rather watch TV. Sean's sneezing. I think he's catching a cold. Come to think of it, if he's not asking for anything, it must be because he's not hungry. So, do you want to talk a little? Talk about what? I don't know, about you, your friends, how things are going. Nothing special. Wow, what a great light. I'm going to sit in the other corner chair. <laughs> Why are they here? <laughs> they found the, 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 the saddest, the most optimal sad placement of furniture in a house. Do you want me to get your dinner? Oh yeah, I'm really hungry. Okay, I'll go see what I can find. I'll call you when it's ready. I think there's some medicine in the bathroom cabinet. Come on, Sean. It's time for bed. Oh, but I never go to bed this early. You're right, it's still early. I'll come back for you when it's time. How are things at school? Is your teacher nice? Everything's fine, Dad. Ooh, mail. That's it. When the parents came home from church, all their children were gone. They searched and called for them. They cried and begged. But it was all to no avail. The children had never been seen again. Oh, that's weird. really really loves to make you pee or at least give you the option Yes. 
It's the exact same bedroom. Where is the juggling balls? Ah! What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. That is you cannot be more on the nose than that. Fuck this game's great. You put that in the fridge? Aw. Oh. I got a brood for a little bit. I'm going to give my kid the sad meal. Roasted chicken or whatever the f is that pizza? It's a pizza. Wow, that... Huh? Yo, look at that fucking pizza! Hell yeah, PS3, we love it. You can come now, Sean. Your meal is ready. I'm coming! Well, what?
Oh fuck, he saw me. So embarrassed. Oh, back outside. Okay. Oh, dusty. I haven't, I haven't touched the old architecture desk in a while. Fuck it. What? <laughs> hey, stop messing around or I'll never be able to film you. We are humans. What do you want me to do? We are humans. Oh, oh, yeah, this is our memories. Oh, he's okay now. This film, I just can't stop watching it. Nothing but dust and memories. Stuff that takes me back to the past. He's gonna take you back to the past To play the shitty games that suck ass He'd rather have a buffalo Take a diarrhea dump in his ear He'd rather eat the rotten asshole of a roadkill skunk and down it with me. I'm sorry, Jason. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Oops. My pathfinding broke a little bit. Showing him around.
this? What? What? Oh. The rest of your pizza. Are you gonna finish the pizza? Can I? Pick up. Are you gonna have the pizza? Can I have it? Hey. So I've been thinking of. Oh, fuck it. Go to bed. Cheat. <laughs> what is that prompt? What is it going to make me do if I press B? Ah, uh, wholesome. B for boy. <laughs> my son, boy, gone to bed. I tucked him in. My fatherly duties have been finished. Slam the fucking door. <laughs> The drugs are working, someone said. <coughs> oh, that OJ was expired. You should have should have shook that OJ more, Ethan. <gasps> oh my god. He's the origami killer! <laughs> what a beautiful screen! <laughs> I wish I'd pressed A, but that prompt was so beautiful. I didn't want to touch it. Oh, here we go. I got an achievement that says interactive drama. Detective Scott Shelby. He makes me want McDonald's. Don't know why. Oh, what? Why is it running so bad? What is happening? Oh. Oh, this is going to be like a sleazy motel. This is what this is where it becomes the French noir game. But I guess I better take the stairs. Men at the desk gotta be able to help. Been looking for weeks. Hope I hit pay dirt this time. Lauren Winter. Ring any bells? Nope. Can't say it does. Oh, that Lauren Winter. 
Third floor, last door on the left at the end of the corridor. $5? Yeah. Hey, this is 20, 2010. You could have gotten some Call of Duty maps at five bucks. Don't. Don't. Don't dunk on that. You could have gotten a Modern Warfare 2 map on Xbox 360. Lauren Winter? Well, I got the right Sorry, house. Sorry, I only see clients by appointment. Oh shit, it would have been really good if they just let me leave. It's 50 bucks. I don't kiss and I don't do any weird shit. Fine by me. French. I remember this, I remember this uh, character being the most confusing one. I struggled, I struggled with understanding. Got exactly 10 minutes when the alarm rings, it's over, okay? What you got in the fridge? Got any orange juice? You got any orange, you got any orange juice? Nice. You got oranges or tangerines. What else you got around here? You mind if I snoop around? You should take your clothes off. We ain't got all day. Actually, I'm not a customer. Ugh, shit, a cop. I should have known. What you want? A freebie? Is that it? My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. The families of the victims of the origami killer asked me to investigate the murders. I came here just to ask you some questions about Johnny. Johnny? I already told the police all I know and have nothing to add. Leave me alone. Okay. Convince, passionate, persist. Oh, what? Are you deaf? I have nothing to say to you. Get out of here. I understand, Lauren. I know what you're going through. Oh yeah? You How's know that what compassionate? Like to find your own son's body on a wasteland? I'm sorry, I don't believe you have the slightest idea what I'm going through, Mr. Shelby. The killer is walking around free as we speak. He'll kill again if he's not arrested. Hey, Johnny's dead, so what difference does it make? What's the trick? If we don't find the killer, there'll be other mothers who find their son's body on a deserted wasteland. But, but, but you're right. Why should you care? It's not your problem anymore, right? What do you want to know? Shelby's classic trick. Oh, a, little, a little bit of Shelby's trick. Tell me about Johnny. What kind of kid was he? Johnny was really a good boy. Sometimes he fought with other kids who called me a, you know. In his own way, I think he understood what was going on. Tell me about Johnny's father. A loser without a job who liked to beat me after a few drinks. He left the day Johnny disappeared. I ain't seen him since. Coward. Good thing he left. You want one? No thanks, I quit. 
That's brave. Where are my other options? Did you suspect anyone after he disappeared? I meet a lot of pretty shady characters in my line of work. Sure, I thought of it at first. But it didn't seem to make any sense. I don't believe any of my clients could have done that to my Johnny and all those other kids. Johnny's home? Did Johnny live with you? Yes. Of course, I made sure he never met any of my clients. I wanted to stop, you know. But we needed the money. I was trying to earn enough to get us out of here. Time's up. What did I learn? What would... Time's up, Mr. Shelby. I hope you got what you wanted. Now get out of here. <laughs> Game over. <laughs> Law. Game over. I'll leave my card on the kitchen table. You never know. I gotta get out of here. No point in pushing it. She's not gonna tell me anymore. I didn't learn squat. Well, it's worth a try. Well, if you remember anything, the smallest detail, give me a call. I'll take the exit through the kitchen. Fucking NPC dialogue. Sorry, Dal. Oh my god. This is fucking writing. You're really knocking, bro? What do you want, asshole? <laughs> Lauren, is everything alright? She's just swell. Now beat it, loser. <laughs> this fucking guy. God, this is so embarrassing for Scott. Oh, no. I 
told you to mind your business, that's all. Oh, I'll be soon. He just yeah. leaves. Oh. Are you all right? To tell you the truth, <laughs> I remember having felt better. Oh. Who was that guy? An ex-client who thinks he owns me. He was getting violent. I told him I didn't want to see him anymore. Oh. In any case, he packs a good right hook. <laughs> what? Oh. He just leave out. Mr. The Shelby. Fuck? What the fuck? Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> he gets his fucking ass me. He goes, well, he packs a good right hook. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> that was a great, that was a great tango session. See ya. I want, I want, uh, oh shit, fuck yes. Fantastic character. Our good boy, Nauman. Nauman. I forgot about this whole storyline of his, his super juice or whatever. It's meth? I never knew what it was. As a, Last time I played this as a kid, I just thought it was like some futuristic shit. Because he has like the- what the fuck? What? Goddamn rain hasn't stopped pouring since I arrived. Yes. I'm really gonna love it here. Fucking best voice actor. I noted that name somewhere. What was it? Blake. Lieutenant Carter Blake. Yeah, that's it. Reporters. Already. Huh. You seem well informed. You're so sad. God. My hands are trembling. I gotta keep my act together. At least for now. I just want to get to the point where we get into a yelling match with the uh, with Blake. The zone is sectioned off, sir. Please step back. Agent Nauman Jaden, FBI. Nauman, baby. A badge or something, Mr. Jaden? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Check. You can pass. I'm looking for Lieutenant Blake. Is he around? I saw him arrive earlier. He's here somewhere. Thanks. Where the fuck did that- did that lady just walk through the ambulance? Oh, here we go. I- this- the most inexplicable fucking thing in this game. 
What the hell? Tuesday, October 4th, 2011. Time is 8.14 I bet this was like, we don't have enough gameplay, we need some kind of, like, Batman radar mechanic. This is when Arkham, Arkham Asylum and all that shit was big, right? We need detective and clues and the Batman scanner. Unrelated to the investigation. I'm looking for Lieutenant Carter Blake. What? Okay. <laughs> what? What? Thanks. <laughs> I'm looking for Lieutenant Carter Blake. Thanks. I'm looking for Lieutenant Carter Blake. Thanks. I'm looking for Lieutenant Carter Blake. Thanks. You Thomas, stepped in my evidence. No interest. Comes one of the policemen present on the wasteland. Where's Lieutenant Carter Blake? Oh. Hey, you there? What are you doing? Lieutenant Blake, I'm Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI. I went by your office this morning. They told me to be here. Office. Now, if you're looking for rain, dead bodies, and highways, you come to the right place. Oh, Mike, can you tell that asshole with the bulldozer to stop for five minutes? I can't hear myself think here. Right away, Lieutenant. Well, are you coming, Jaden? Ooh, shit. Facts, bro. Facts. Let's get, let's get at it, Blake. Taking his dog for a piss, found a body about six o'clock this morning. We don't know much more right now. Based on what we've seen, looks like the work of the origami killer. Any news on the coroner? He's on his way, Lieutenant. We've been waiting for an hour, for fuck's sake. Has the time of death been established? Based on the rigor mortis, must his be less than six hours ago. We should know more once the coroner has had a look. <laughs> Jaded! Yeah, I'm coming. Has the body been identified? No, not yet. We should know more later today. Jaded! Yeah, I'm coming. Do we know the cause of death? There are no marks on the body. Chances are he was drowned, like the others. Jaded! Yeah, I'm coming. There are a lot of people on the crime scene. Aren't you afraid your men might destroy some clues? You don't find proof sitting behind a desk. We're not in the habit of trampling things into the ground, even if we're not in the FBI. It's fucking camera. No, no, of course not. That's, that's not what I meant. I know investigators never like to see FBI profilers turning up, but I'm here to help, if I can. The only thing I'm interested in is finding the killer. 
I don't have an ego problem, if that's any reassurance. Tony, I don't want to see a single shit stirring journalist within a mile of here. You got it? Yes, Lieutenant. Any witnesses? None yet. Given the neighborhood, I'd be surprised if anybody saw anything. JD! Yeah, I'm coming. Do you have any leads? My yeah, this guy, got Blake's got really, really intense separation Can't anxiety. Anything behind. We'll find it. The case seems to be attracting the attention of the media. Yeah, a greedy pack of vultures. These guys have killed their mothers for a scoop. Some investigation. Becoming a three-ring circus. Listen, I, I'm a little busy here. Why don't we discuss all this a little later? Back at the office. Well, no problem. I understand. Are you asking me how? Have a look around. Be my guest. Hey, Jaden. Come and see me if you find anything, okay? We're on the same team now. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? Strange character that Blake didn't seem too pleased to see me. The crime scene is compromised by all these people. I doubt there'll be many clues left. If there were any to start Jesus. with. The body is still here. We should use Ari to examine the body. Ooh, thank you. Thank you for the five gifted subs. Did the alert even play? Thank you, Lisa 43432. It was very quiet on my end. Harry comment. The victim was lying on his back. No visible signs of violence. God, this fucking inexplicable tech. What the fuck? Who made this choice? Superficial wound on the right thigh. Blood analysis suggests it could be post-mortem. Probably a scratch that occurred when the body was being moved. The blood report indicates an advanced and long-lasting state of exhaustion. Orchid was placed on the victim's chest. <laughs> Scanning. <laughs> A small origami figure in the right hand. Fingers were probably closed after the time of death. <laughs> I know that if you use the glasses too much, you he dies. I do remember that. That is the ending I got when I was a kid. I was so confused. If you use the glasses too much, he becomes addicted and he... I forget. It's like he gets stuck in the world of, of the glasses. I don't remember, but I remember it, it's not good if you use it too much. He gets addicted. He legitimately gets addicted to it. Oh, he's taking the blue in order to use VR. Yep, this fucking entire character is so strange. He is eye dosing. Yeah, he has to eye dose. I dope, I smack, I quote, I crack.
I've unlocked a new bonus. Oh, we're back to Ethan. I forget when Madison comes in. What is that? Is that my... Is that my... Those are my hips? Is this an X? Oh. A butterfly. <laughs> a rat. A rat's head. A crab. Blood. Blood spreading through water. What is this therapy? How, how, what? When did this game become fucking Deus Ex? What? This is so <laughs> anxiety, anxiety, anxiety. Egg, wow! Really needed a machine to tell me that. MRI scans. Everything seems to be normal. There is no physical damage from the accident. However, I am worried about your psychological condition. I know it's not. You keep on, you keep on beginning motions and then stopping them, thinking it's You're funny. You're not responsible for what happened. Wow! Did I? It's my fault. Jason is dead. What is this game? What? Still be alive. I'd be looking out for him. <laughs> it was an accident. Accidents happen every day. Oh my you God! Can't blame Holy yourself shit! Forever for your son's death. How is Sean? He's a very solitary kid, you know, very focused within himself. He's really close to his mother. With me, he's more distant. And what about you, Ethan? What do you feel? I stopped living at the same time Jason did. Now I'm that super human. Into us. Is there something else you wanted to tell me, Ethan? Oh! What? I sometimes have these blackouts. Times when I don't know what I'm doing. I, I forgot about this part of the I game. I recover consciousness. Sometime later, after dying, killing is easy. Shadow Man. Someplace else. And I have no idea how I got there. Do you think this could be related to the accident? You suffered a massive concussion and were in a coma for six months. We what? really don't <laughs> know what effect a shock like that can have on the brain. That's the end of this session. Uh, we'll continue this Six month week. coma. Jesus Christ. You were lucky, Ethan. It's very rare to survive such a traumatic accident. I don't exactly feel lucky, Doctor. Now get me out of this animus machine. Where are we? Get me out of Montreal. Problem? Is something the matter, Sean? No, I'm all right. Do you want to eat something? I haven't been on a seesaw in a long time. What do you think? Yeah! Skin. I'm scared. No, 
I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Sean looks really down in the dumps. I've got to <laughs> find some way to cheer him up. No! Reload? Reload the save. Fuck it. Gotta be a good dad. Gotta be a good dad. We're going for we're going for the good dad achievement. Oh my god! It, it, get out of my way! It saved after he. I oh shit! Fuck! Sean looks really down in the dumps. I've got to find some way to cheer him up. Mm, fuck! What do I do? What what does a good dad do? Anyone got tips? Come here. You want to go play on the swing? I'll push you. Okay. Wait, I can't. But when that music comes on, I just can't. Reminds me of the two lines that I draw and never finished. He didn't think much of the swings, so now what? <laughs> Let's ride the carousel. Wait, what's this? I'd like a packet of strawberry flavored chewies, please. What is this? Fucking Tommy was OS dialect. Thanks. I got you some chewies. I hate strawberry. Thanks. It was nice of you anyway. <laughs> Put it in your inventory, kid. <laughs> Mind if I borrow that ball, please? Should have known he doesn't like strawberry. I don't even know my own son anymore. How do we get on? Son, let's enjoy this.
It's getting dark. It might start to rain soon. Whee! Whee! What about that merry-go-round? I bet I can push. There's no way he could hear you, bro. Able to stay on it. There's no way he could hear you. It's kids. Just... Secret to tell you, the orange juice makes me super strong. Oh, what a fucking failure of a spin! Ah! Oh my god, I can't be yelling that loud. Whoa, he, play that game anymore. he hates me. <laughs> Crap, I should have done better than that. Maybe <laughs> something else. What else is there? I've no I've not explored this game as much as I am now. Wanna play in the big garbage? I'm just gonna leave. Oh yeah, Sean. <laughs> the game shows it to you like you forgot. Hmm. Looks like rain's coming. I think we better go. Okay. You know, sometimes I remember before, I mean, when Jason was still here, sometimes I wish everything could just be the way it was before. Me too, Sean. Me too. Come on, Dad, what are you doing? I'm coming. Stare at my son. This is my son. I am human. I love to brush my teeth and shower. I love orange juice. Hey, Dad, can I have a ride on the carousel? Can I? Sure. Go pick a horse and get on. I'll get a ticket. Where do I get a ticket? One, please. That's a dollar. Worth a dollar if it makes you laugh. Oh, this is so sad. Orange juice is hitting. P 
<laughs> I'm having a kitchen nightmare. Oh shit, I could have died just then. There's a reason why I didn't like strawberry. Must have gone back to the house. What? Is that not his bag? He's not here. He's not here. Sean. Sean, I've got to find him. Sean. Where's Sean? Sean! Sean! His backpack's still here, but where's Sean? Sean! What? It's nighttime. <laughs> That's impossible. I just shut my eyes a second ago. Sean! I don't believe it. I couldn't have... Sean. Where's Sean? Sean! He's here. He's got to be here somewhere. I'll find him. Sean! 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 Yeah, it's actually pretty wild that It's actually pretty wild that he brings this up in therapy. He's like, yo, by the way, I've been blacking out and there's like periods of times where I don't know what happened. And the doctor's like, yo, that's crazy. Just it's not your fault that your kid died. Remember that. <laughs> Remember that. <laughs> Feel better now? Now get out of the animus. Ezio needs it. mentioned that that was part of a cut plotline involving supernatural phenomena or psychic stuff? Wow. DLC? I think they they released one DLC pack for this game, if I remember properly. Take long. Do you think it's gonna take long? No, he should be finished soon. God, I'm bored. I hate having nothing to do. 
Let's get the formalities out of the way so I can get back to some real work. I gotta see Captain Perry. Orders are orders. Gee, I hate internal politics bullshit. Yo, check this shit out. That's like, that's like one of the, I think that's one of the first time that this game actually had like a, a th something that I laughed at that was intentional. I'm off, Charlene. I'll look at the reports later. Oh, cancel all. You'll check out that that time. OS. What are you doing? Oh, Captain, Agent Norman J. What is that computer? FBI is here. It's like a big iPad. Jaden, of course. We've been expecting you. I'm in a bit of a hurry. Do you mind tagging along? We can talk as we walk. Yeah, of course. I wanted to introduce myself before getting started, but uh, perhaps there's a better no, time. No, no, it's fine. Cancel that I appointment. Just press conference. Hey, Jaden, are you coming or what? I haven't got all day. See my assistant. We'll talk later. Oh, shit. <laughs> I actually lost that opportunity. Nice watch. Oh, it's the present we offer to our new lieutenants. We bought the same model each year for the past 20 years for each promotion. It optimizes everybody's time, and it's the kind of thing that always goes down well. You can contribute to our fund if you like. We're still a few dollars short. Sorry, I... I don't have any chance. No problem. Maybe next time round. Captain Perry said you could show me to my office? Yes, of course. Follow me. I'm gonna cut you off. This? This is my office? That's where I was told to take you. I love that it says office on the door. Okay, time to work. <laughs> okay. That's that. That's enough work for today. I'm good. Let me out. Wow. More like a big cupboard. Well, I wanted a quiet place to work, and it certainly looks like I got it. What are these subtitles? I was gonna force me to use my glasses. Step one, change the office. Let's 
go to the ocean. Oh, I like this one. Get those orbs out of here. Ha! <laughs> These fucking folders. Eight victims in the last three years. All boys. Age between 9 and 13. No signs of violence. The victims disappear from public places in broad daylight. No one notices anything. Anything. Bodies are found three to five days later. Anything. Drowned. In rainwater. What is that little finger? I don't remember this part at all. There is always a railroad line adjacent to where the bodies are found. And all the victims disappeared in the fall. Let's do geoanalysis. The killer has a large comfort zone. He gained confidence rapidly and moved away from his base. Hmm, this won't make the geo profiling any easier. Always the same ritual. An origami in the hand, an orchid on the chest. The victims have always been dead for less than six hours when they were found. Which means they remained alive for several days before being drowned. Over 3,500 people questioned. Over 100 suspects interrogated. Not a single lead to go on. Yo, analysis. <laughs> oh, look at this fucking pie chart. Age between 30 and 45. He is intelligent, calm, and determined. An organized type. He has a car. He's probably employed, but his work allows him free time. Yo, bust out the GameCube! Well, well. Looks like there's something new. Harry, come in. Tire tracks on the side of the road behind the railroad line. It may be the killer's car. fucking love this. Why is this an option? I don't think it's very useful. No prints or specific clues. Hmm. Nothing much to go on. Just one origami store in town. Ooh. Chevrolet Malibu, baby. Is probably a Chevrolet Malibu eighty three. <laughs> Gets me every time.
Oh, fuck. The VR addiction. Here we go again. I gotta go wash my face. Take some. I'm faint if I resist. It's all right. I know I can make it. I know. I know I can make it. Crypto. No. Is everything all right? What is this trip? Tri I'm assuming trip is not real. Uh oh. It's fucking music. Ethan. This is Lieutenant Blake, Mr. Marsh. Could you please tell him what happened? It, it was this afternoon. I went to the park with my son, Sean. We played together for a while. And then he wanted to go on the carousel, so I put him on one of the wooden horses. And when I turned back, Sean had disappeared. And so did everyone else. Exactly what time did you arrive at the park? Try to remember exactly, Mr. Mars. Every detail can be important. It must have been about... 4.45, I think. I'm I just picked a random time. There's no fucking way I'm remembering that. What was your son wearing when he disappeared? He was wearing a coat. It was beige, I remember that. A beige coat. And a pair of pants. Brown pants. <laughs> How could Sean have disappeared without you even noticing? Weren't you right by the carousel? <laughs> I went for a short walk around the park just for a few <coughs> minutes. When I got back, the carousel had stopped, and Sean wasn't there. You say you took your son to the park after school, but you didn't report him missing until 8.15. Why did it take you so long to contact the police? Oh, Norman Jane's right there. I... I don't know. I panicked. I didn't know what to do. Did Sean have any particular difficulties, Mr. Mars? Anything that might have caused him to run away? Sean is a sensitive child. Our relationship has been a little difficult recently. Everything okay at school? Any particular problems between you and your wife? Uh oh. Uh, my wife and I have been separated for the last six months. But Sean would not have gone off without telling his mother or me. All right, 
That's all the questions I have for now. You're free to go, Mr. Mars. We'll continue to look for Sean overnight. We'll contact you if we have any more questions. And by the way, I also lost his brother. Do, do you think the origami killer... Listen, your son's probably just run off and he'll turn up in a couple of hours. But what if it is the origami killer? Well, then we have about four days to find him alive. Wow. Why can't anyone say origami? Oh man. Did they find something? Ethan's gonna get destroyed. No, nothing yet, but they're gonna keep looking through the night. Do they do they think it's the origami killer? It, it, it's still too early to say. But it is a possibility. What happened, Ethan? How could you lose Sean like that? It was the strawberry gummies. You never have taken your eyes off him. I mean, for God's sake, how hard is it to keep your eye on a child in the park? Why did you leave him, Ethan? Why? Wasn't it enough losing Jason? Ooh. I'm sorry. It's not what I meant to say. Oh, music change. I miss him so much. Fun fact. Studies have shown that people who can perfectly remember the details surrounding someone who's disappeared. Oh, I was really hoping for a cutie either. Such a wide variety of takes in the chat right now. <laughs> Seeing everything range from kick his ass to it's a kid, get over it. Really covering the whole spectrum here. <laughs> yeah, I was hoping for a QTE where I could go for like a hug and make it really slow and awkward and then end up not doing it. Baby, is it baby wipes in there? Oppy crunch. <laughs> Namely, good evening to you, sir. Store's empty. Guess it's that time of day. Well, it's a good time for a quiet little talk. Guy behind the counter? You gotta suppose that's him. Inch of poyness. Walk through every aisle just for fun. That's making me hungry for some reason. I want those chips. I want a bowl of chips. I want a bowl of chips. Uh Can I help you, sir? Well, I hope so. My name's Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. Uh, I'm investigating the case of the origami killer. I I'd like to ask you a few questions. My son is dead, Mr. Shelby. I have nothing more to say. The killer has kidnapped another victim. A ten-year-old boy. Like your son, Risa. 
I have four days before we find his body on a deserted stretch of wasteland. No one did anything. They really love using the term son. wasteland. Now, if you would please to move along, sir. You may know something that could help save other people's lives. I was unable to save the life of my own son. I do not see how I could save the lives of other people. Oh, do you sell inhalers? I'm all out and at least I won't go away completely empty handed. In the back of this door, to the right. Thanks. Asthma spray, let's get it. Love asthma spray. Good evening, sir. Are you looking for something in particular? Wow. Yo, Mr. White. The register. Don't fucking try Yo, Mr. It. White. Open the register, you dumb fuck. Put the money on the counter. Shit, are you deaf or what? Are you going to open that fucking register or not? No, sir. You do not have the right to steal that money from me. I have worked very hard to earn it. You cannot have it. Hey, you! <laughs> Shit! Come here! I said come here now! Don't move! Hands up! Put your fucking hands up or I'll shoot! Are you deaf? I said put your hands up. I'm warning you. I'll shoot. If you don't raise your fucking hands right now, you're dead. I'm not joking, man. I'll blow your fucking brains out. Oh, oh shit. Jesse, we have to. Is this actually is this actually an ending? Should I cut the should I close the game? Before? Okay, no, he's alive. I'll call for an ambulance. I got scared. No, I'll be all right. Bullet just grazed my. I don't want to lose Scott Shelby this early into the game. Goddamn punk kid, doesn't even know how to use a gun. Thank you for helping me. I don't know what would have happened without you. Yo, I dropped a pan and then got shot. When my boy, Razor, disappeared. I received a letter with a locker ticket inside. Inside the locker, I found this box. I do not understand what it means, but I think it must be a sort of message from the man who took my son from me. Can I? Huh? Oh, sorry, I fell asleep. I'm, just, I'm massively losing blood right now. Oh, oh, oh. Uh. What is this? Please, take the box if it can be what of any toy? use to you at all. It did not help me to save Reza, but maybe it will help you find the other little boy. Mr. Shelby, I was beginning to think that there was no good to be found in this place. I, I'm shocked I got, I did well by doing nothing. Literally nothing. I got shot and I got my prize. Also didn't pay for the inhaler, yeah. Alright, new character. I completely forget her story. I completely forget her story. I just know that her and Ethan can fuck.
Well, this is a sick apartment. <gasps> These games are incredibly linear. Yeah, I'm actually not sure how, like, how many parts can actually kill a character or not. Like, I thought maybe he that would have ki killed Scott Shelby, but also, like, he seems kind of, like, important. Also, I mean, I know how the, I know the twist at the end, so I know he's important. Like, I'm assuming Norman Jaden probably, like, probably her, Norman Jaden, I'm guessing Ethan and Scott Shelby are important. Philadelphia become woman. Oh, yeah, I forgot it. I forgot about Nips incoming. I'm assuming Twitch. I won't get in trouble for that on Twitch. I can't tell. I can't tell with Twitch if, if it's just butt. I can't believe that's even like a problem in the first place. Let's log on. Oh, maybe I don't have to shower, so it doesn't actually matter. What the fuck? Nope. I'm staying down here. <laughs> I love my apartment. Sitting here in my apartment. She must be loaded with... Oh, okay. Am I just going to bed? This is a sick apartment. It's massive. I want something this size. $20,000 monthly apartment. I, uh, I swear I heard something. Good job, Madison. I think you're starting to lose it. Oh no, I don't want to shower. I'm too squared. I'm too squared. I'm too scared that it's Twitch TOS. Oh. A hot drink is what I need. I swear that shadow just moved. It's freaking me out. Girl, get a grip. The door's locked tight, and you're home alone. Goddamn insomnia. I'm totally exhausted, but I just can't sleep. I shouldn't take those damn pills again. Hype Town. I love Hype Town. I swear that shadow just moved. It's freaking me out. Girl, get a grip. The door's locked tight, and you're home alone. I think I have to. I think I have to shower to proceed the storyline. I'm fairly sure. That'll create the magic of sleep. I thought they both had to shower. That was.
I did forget something in the microwave. My microwave says believe. What? Any OJ in the fridge? Actually, I'm gonna check. Yeah, I can't even open the fridge. No, I can't even open my fr Oh, what? What? <laughs> These fucking options. Reason, fear, explanation. Look. Going without sleep is driving me crazy. Get up, close the fridge door, go to bed. Simple. I think I'm starting to be seriously scared. The fridge door. I'm sure I closed it. Oh, come on, it, it couldn't have just opened on its own. There's someone here. There's someone in the apartment. The phone on the desk. I could call for help. The front door. It's the only way out. If I can reach it, I still have a chance. Oh my god, this fucking camera angle. Oh, this is the classic Heavy Rain Chase music. Oh my god, it's so fucking like. They must have got in while I was. Really, zero. Oh. 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 Oops. <laughs> oh shit. Uh oh. I'm assuming I can't die. Oops. This is actually hard. These sound effects. <laughs> what the fuck? What is happening? I don't remember this. I don't remember this at all. Oh shit! Luthes press. Get up for the RKO. Get up for the RKO. Jump. Oh. Wait, so can I not win? Holy shit, the scream. That was a fucking Mort the Chicken scream. What? This doesn't... What? Oh, oh. What's the point? Yeah, what kind of bathroom? That is... Yeah, what kind of bathroom is that? That was like a school bathroom. With like the... The sink that's like a... That's like a circle. They have to press them with your foot. What kind of apartment is this? I don't remember that being Madison's introduction, but it's in it's in line with uh, 
what I would expect. God, Ethan. Fucking. <laughs> Innocent killer. I'm the origami killer. I black out, and then the murdering starts. I know it's me. The Bouncer. When the parents came home from church, all their children were gone. They searched and called for them. They cried and begged. But it was all to no avail. The Bouncer. The children have never been seen again. I want, I could control the urge to kill. I forgot about that game until just now. What game is that from? Murder House. That's on the VOD channel, I'm pretty sure. I have to get out of here and find out what this ticket is about. What? <laughs> what? The origami figure in my hand after my blackout. It's the same one the killer leaves in the hands of his victims. I've never done origami in my life. <laughs> Everyone's a fucking cartoon in this game. It looks like the ticket to a locker. This doesn't make any sense. It couldn't have been me. I couldn't ever have done that. Mr. Mars! Mr. Mars! Mr. A Mars. few words! Mr. Mars! Goddamn reporters. They've been <laughs> camped outside my house all day. Mr. Mars, can you confirm that your son has disappeared? Do you think the origami killer Mr. Mars, kidnapped him? Get another car. Mr. Mars, I'm going to walk straight Mars, to that car. Don't enter the question. Don't, Mr. don't Mr. say anything. Mr. Mars. Just get your son back. Do you suspect what are these two Mr. camera Mars? angles? It's so strange. You lost your son in the park. Mr. Mars, can you confirm that your son you has think disappeared? Your son is still alive? Oh yeah, Suze, that's a good point. These ki these killings have been happening for years and you're just starting to black out. It's definitely not you. I always thought, even when I was playing this when I was like fucking like eight years old, I knew like the the them trying to make you think that he's going crazy and he's the killer is like so heavy handed that it, that can't be it. What? Nightmare. Eight. I was born in 2002. Oh, actually, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Gonna have to make it through the crowd. I can't, <laughs> definitely can't not eight. Crowd. Just can't handle it. I'm just not gonna make it. I'm tightening up. I, I can't go on. The luggage lockers. They're on the, the other luggage side of the lockers. Station. Maybe I could come back later when there's less of a crowd. No time to waste. I need to find out what's in that locker. <laughs> what? His, like, accent became really weird all of a sudden. Need to find out what's in that locker. Where is the locker? I don't even know where it is. Oh, I see.
I, I can't make it. Too many people. Too many people. Everyone is white in the screen. What? Okay, what am I doing wrong? I'm legitimately struggling. There we go. What? <laughs> animation. Well, did they all have the same animation? Gate. Jason. <laughs> Dad. Jason. Jason, come back. Jason. Jason. Jason, Dad's here. Jason. The balloon. Got it. Jason. The balloon. Gotta get Jason. You gotta be kidding. This is driving me. Jason. Dad. The balloon. Gotta get the balloon. Jason. It's Jason. He's there. He's right there. This time I'll save him. Nightmare. The whole thing was just a fucking nightmare. Jason. Jason is dead. Oh. Made it. I made it. I managed to get through the line 18. 
box number three. <laughs> the lucker number. It's on the ticket. The lockers. Now I've got a line 18, box number three. The lockers. Now I've got to find the right one. Line 18, box number three. The lockers. Line 18, box number three. The lockers. Now I've got to find the right one. The lockers. Now I've got to find the right one. That fucking sequence is strange. Motel hell, baby. We got another achievement. Box. What's the connection with Sean's disappearance? I took a room in the first motel I saw. Well, the box bro. The locker. What am I going to find inside? Am I the one who who put this box in the locker? I don't remember. Got to open it and find out what's inside. I gotta pee first. <laughs> this fucking game. Why do they want him to pee so many times? Watching face for not washing. The pee pee face, pee pee face. <gasps> wow, real smooth. Just gonna flip a gun like that. Look at that fucking cell phone. to show courage to save your son goes garage oh shit it's jigsaw Whoa.
Ash on. Where are you? I'm so cold. Dad. Dad. <laughs> Whoa, you got you got a fucking font in the video. Wow, that's a lot of production. Look at that. You found a typewriter font? Each figure is a trial. I forgot. This was this just became straight up saw. I forgot about that. I totally forgot about this part. Nah, man. The killer is white, aged between 30 and 45. He doesn't act on impulse, but plans his crimes in a very meticulous fashion. He doesn't have anything personal against the victims, and that's why he covers their faces with mud, to make them anonymous. Why does he kill them if he doesn't have anything against them? For him, they're more of an image, a symbol. That's probably why it gives him an origami figure, and an orchid as gifts to apologize for what he's done to them. Very interesting. And where does all that get us? It builds up a profile. Wait. Can I switch this on the fly? Oh, shit. ...of the killer and helps us understand the person we're looking for. It might have been useful if it was done earlier in this oh, investigation. Oh, no. When will it change? Bye, Jaden. Dann habe ich mir die geografische Lage der Fundorte angesehen. Den ersten Mord verüben Täter meist in der Nähe des Wohnorts, um bei Problemen einen sicheren Rückzugsort zu haben. Gewinnt der Täter mehr Sicherheit, bewegt er sich auch weiter weg. Ich habe die Orte, an denen die Opfer entführt wurden, genau analysiert. Holy shit. That's actually pretty impressive that I could switch on the fly like that. Oh, let's bust out some Italian, bro. Und einen möglichen Wohnbereich des Täters eingegrenzt. E che dimensioni avrebbe questa zona? <laughs> per ora, circa 10 miglia quadrate. Oh, bene. Ci abiteranno 10 miglia Bene, bene. Simile. Vuole interrogarle una per una. Non abbiamo l'indirizzo dell'assassino, ma è sicuramente un inizio. Assassino! Se lei ha un piano migliore, la sto ascoltando. Su, coraggio. Sono tutto re. Let's hear the French. Oh shit. Shitotsu kininaru koto ga arimasu. Higaishi ga sugato o keshite kara shitai ga hakken sareru made mikka kara itsuka to hiraki ga arimasu ga. There's a lot of languages. Shitai percent no gosa no hai nai de itsumo 15 cm desu. Ittai douyu imi da. Quel est votre plan pour la suite <rire> Il y a deux suspects dont les profils psychologiques pourraient coller et qui habitent dans la zone de confort du géoprofiling. Je voudrais les interroger. This game is making oh me crave merde, on est en train de perdre notre temps avec ces conneries. Le tueur oh, est là, quelque part, et qu'on sous ce lit, là. et qu'on aille le chercher. Je commence à en avoir ras-le-bol de vos histoires, Carter. Ça fait deux ans que vous courez après ce type, et qu'est-ce que vous avez trouvé, hein Rien Vous n'avez absolument rien Yes, get angry, French Norman. Oops. Going back to English. 
What, you think you can do a better fucking job than me with your psychology degree and your great glasses? Well, let me tell you something, pal. That don't mean zip when it comes to getting out there. You're just a fucking bureaucrat. Your vast experience hasn't prevented eight victims from being murdered. Fucking asshole! <laughs> That's enough. You said it took six inches of rainfall before the victim died. Fucking asshole! If the weather forecasts are right, less than 72 hours. Nathaniel Williams is our prime suspect. He's already been questioned, and he lives in the exact geoprofiling zone. I think I vaguely remember this part being weird. No answer. We waste our time coming here. Maybe we should have a little look inside anyway. There's no I'm re I, From what I remember when I played this, it was like crazy person with this there wild apartment and they're like this person's the killer this I'm person's sure the killer and they don't end, they're not un they don't end up being the killer call the cops oh yeah i remember this room looks like nathaniel williams is a pretty religious guy He's a God-fearing idiot, waiting for the end of the world. We questioned him a few cup months milk. back because he was Look causing milk. a disturbance in the park. He was ranting and raving. Look at this white stuff in this bucket. Is it milk? I had this idea in his sick little head that I was the Antichrist. I had come to Earth to persecute him. Real twisted. Hey everyone, stop fighting. Look at this white stuff in this bucket. Is, this, is it milk? Drinking, yeah, <laughs> drinking from my milk bucket. Candles are still lit. He should be back soon. <laughs> it's stifling in here. Those windows haven't been opened in years. The bed ball. Oh, okay. I would have lost my shit if he could pee here. Vitamins. The guy's taking a break from reality, hold up here in this crazy apartment. What was that shot? Actually not not quite sure what I'm supposed to do now. The walls are covered with writing. Quotations from the Bible.
That's uh, 10 bottles of ibuprofen. Oh, I didn't look at that. No. Oh. 200 by 300 pixel. Good timing, Nathaniel. Just the man we're looking for. Angels and ministers of grace defend us. I'm Agent Nauman Jaden, FBI. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Wonderful, Nauman. As God is my witness, I haven't done anything. I'm innocent. Relax. Nobody's accusing you of anything. We just want to talk. Where do you work, Nathaniel? You have a job? My sole occupation is praying to the all-merciful Lord for the salvation of humanity. Nathaniel, do you remember where you were last Tuesday at 4.30 p.m.? Here? I was here. I was praying. All day. What is our main character's accent? Was I don't think anyone's been able to you? place Norman Jaden's accent. No. No, I was alone. Why all the crucifixes? You afraid of something? The hour is nigh, and the wrath of God shall strike men down. I'm preparing for the end of the world. What about the voices, Nathaniel? Do you <laughs> still need to hear see your mouth that close? We know who talks to you, don't we, Nathaniel? Or we both know who talks to you. Don't want to see that goatee. Don't speak that name. What does he say to you, Nathaniel? Blake, what are you doing? I can't talk Yo, about Norman, that. that's you such a weak intervention. <laughs> like, what he are you doing? To go and find new prey, that's enough. He? Leave him he needs alone. More and more. Hey, what are you doing? I'm literally standing between them. No, you mustn't mention him. You'll bring him here. I've got to do Don't something. Go find that kid in the park. Of the shit. Voice is are you out of your mind? All night long. You wanted them to stop, didn't you, Nathaniel? Shit. Blake is totally out of his mind. I can't just That's stand enough. around and do nothing. So you obeyed them to make them. I stop. gotta stop, Blake. He's going too far. What do I do? Isn't that right? Oh. No! Stop! Stop! You killed them, didn't you, Nathaniel? Are you gonna confess, you bastard? You are the Antichrist. Put down the gun, I Nathaniel. I'll you to your father in hell. He is the son of Satan. He was sent to earth to destroy shoot, us. For Christ's sake, shoot! What? Psychology order reassure. What? Calm down, Nathaniel. Nobody here wants to hurt you. Put the gun down. What is, what is psychology would have done? Keep calm. Everything is going to be fine, Nathaniel. Team, you shall regret confronting the emissary of the Lord. Oh, I should have psychology. No Damn it. Power. Concentrate on my voice, Nathaniel. Listen only to my voice. Christ all powerful. Defend us in our battle with the forces of evil. Protect us from the cunning and wiles of the demon. May God Almighty manifest the power of his empire. And may divine power cast Satan and all the other spirits that prowl the world in search of souls into the darkest depths of hell. I'm a press psychology. Lieutenant Blake is going to leave our planet right now and return what? to the what? realm of shadows. <laughs> what? Creature of darkness, I do beseech you to return to the realm of shadows and leave our Nathaniel in peace. Back away, slowly. That what? What did that do? Psychology. Oh, I knew I had to press psychology. Now drop the gun. Drop it, Nathaniel. Put your hands on your head. Oh, I couldn't even do anything there. 
I don't think Blake can die here. Turn around. Motherfucker. In the name of the Lord, I exorcise thee, Satan. Okay, freak, the show's over. You're under arrest. Pretty damn cool under the circumstances. I would have just shot him. Got no fucking the shit in the answer to every problem, Blake. Maybe not, but most of the time it helps. Oh, he looked like he was gonna sneeze. Oh, I got an achievement for that. When is the soonest Blake can die? I don't think we have control over Blake's life. I think it's only the four main characters. I think when I played this as a kid, I was I like severely overestimated the amount of like change that could happen. I don't think it's as open as I remember it being. I don't think as many I don't think people can die as often as I thought I if they could have. That's probably just like young kid me being like, all my decisions matter. Bowles. Susan Bowles, mother of the Oregon killer's latest victim. Maybe she knows something about the circumstances surrounding her son's death. Ah, asthma free for the moment, lovely. Good old inhaler in my pocket, just in case. Ah, I forgot. Yeah, you got Damn shot. Still hurting me. Need to keep my nose clean for a while. That person's doorbell a baby? Oh. The, the strangest baby sounds I've heard in the game. <laughs> I love the baby option. Baby screaming and no answers? I don't like the look of this. I should have a look around. There should be another way to get in. Walk like a human and not like Nico Bellic, please. Just I want to walk in a straight line. Thank you. Oh, that was easy. Is he wafting his fart? Anybody home? This is Bowles. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I remember this. Whoops. Again, not entirely surprising that this type of subject is handled very poorly. Oh. You looking for your mama? What? <laughs> He's just like, oh, I'm looking for your mama. Sorted cookies. What is he doing? Oh, shit. 
Very cla very classic game. I completely forgot about Mrs. this part Bowles. too. Mrs. Bowles, can you hear me? Wake up! Wake up! Now I can't tell. I'm assuming a large part of this is just obviously David Cage, but also I'm assuming. Oops. I'm assuming the the noir genre as well probably is not the classiest either. A whole mess of bad influences. Oh, I, I, this is definitely reminiscent of like shitty 90s thrillers I've seen. Oh, I guess we're not going in there. Oh, you're alive. I'm gonna call an ambulance. No, I... I don't want to go to the hospital. Please. Okay. You got something around here I can dress this wound with? Yeah. I think so. Okay. Don't move. I'll be right back. Quick, she's losing blood. I gotta hurry. Yeah, just walk. Just a walk. Need some bandages and disinfectant. Gotta be here somewhere. Let's see. I need this, and this, and this. Let's fucking cut to him holding it like this. I'm here for you, Susan. You'll be all right. I'll take care of you. Ew, he's saying it weird. <gasps> Wait, I should I have gotten like... There, I done what I can. That should stop the bleeding. Well, luckily, the wounds aren't too deep. That's easy. Hey, how are you feeling? You okay? My baby. My baby needs me. Right. You stay there. I'll take care of the baby. Okay? Do you know what to do? With a baby, I mean. I'm a private eye. There's nothing bust out a bowl. It's bust it. out the lays. Good to go. My name is Emily. Gotcha. Yeah, I want a bowl of chips so bad right now. Wait, I'm actually going in the kitchen. <laughs> Why can't I pick up the bottle? Like that, I feel like that would be the move. Hi there, Emily. So, what seems to be the problem, huh? Oh! Going you get locked out of your Xbox Live yeah, account? Don't worry, you're not gonna lose all, any of your achievements. Big sounds. Okay. Oh my god, the texture on the on the on the diaper box is incredibly warped. God, what a hard left in terms of tone. Oops. Well, brother, that's not the right way. Okay. You can't, I don't think Let's you do just restart like that, bro. There you go, fresh new baby. 
That should feel better. Right, Emily? Hmm? Brand new baby. Hey, oh. What's the matter? I thought we solved the problem. I get why they're doing this scene. I just think it's so. Yeah, I mean, obviously. I guess I better warn We've been noticing it, noticing it throughout. There's absolutely zero subtlety. But this is like something else. Look, Scott Shelby. He's a, he's a, he's such a caring man. Yeah, put the milk beside the dirty diaper. Baby oh, want an iPad. Emily, That's also hungry? true. The baby just needs an iPad. This baby needs an iPad and uh, Linus Tech Tips. Then we're good to go. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I'll do better this time. I promise. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I'll do better this time. I promise. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I'll do better this time. I promise. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I'll do better this time. I promise. Stop shaking so much. What is that? The look at the box. It says baby diaper. Baby diaped. Oh shit, if I'd done this without failing a QT, I would have gotten the Baby oh, Master achievement. Good job, Emily. Hmm? You're feeling good now, right? <laughs> now, I'm gonna rock you very gently so you can have a nice little snooze. Okay, all right. Doesn't actually matter if I fail. <laughs> that is <it's laughs> Oh. Sorry, kid. You're not done rocking, right? Hmm. Is the music gonna come back? No shit. Oh here we go. <laughs> One more time. Oops. After oh. my baby. I didn't want to leave her. I just couldn't cope anymore. Just not having Jeremy around. He was such a good boy. I can't understand why anyone would want to hurt him. Do you take care of this baby on your own? Doesn't Jeremy's father live with you anymore? He disappeared. 
the day after Jeremy. I don't know what happened to him. Maybe, maybe he couldn't take it. Ever since I've had to look after Emily all on my own and I couldn't do it anymore. I understand. Did your husband say anything before he disappeared? Did he leave a note or something? He's, I feel like his accent just changed too. No. Note? He left the house without a word and... There was just a cell phone. A cell phone? <clears throat> yeah, I, I found a cell phone in his dresser. I'm sure it wasn't his. I'd never seen it before. I tried to turn it on, but it didn't work. Do you still have it? Yeah, it's uh, it's in a drawer in the living room. You can have it if you'd like. I'm sure it's of more use to you than to me. Do you have any family or anybody to help you? Yeah, my mother. Oh, this is the same person who plays and Lauren? Oh, no wonder why. I was like, they sound the same. That really would make sense. That would make a lot of sense. But I guess I'm out of options. Well, look after yourself. And Emma. I will. I promise. What was it? Is he floating? Damn. Sick move, Scott Shelby. I didn't get the baby master achievement, no, because I messed up the QTEs like right away. In a drawer in the living room. That's what Susan said. Good luck, Emily. You take care of your mama. Nice. Ah, oh, classic phone static. This dude really just walks into like fucked up situations and he's like, all right, bye. Oh, are you going to take the baby? Okay. The only thing missing would have been him getting getting beat up in there. And being like, Bye. Wow. What a fight. <laughs> the baby kicks his ass. Favorite level. The load times are pretty wild.
Take it forever. Oh yeah, I do remember seeing this game's loading screen as a kid and being like, holy fuck, this is the future of gaming. This is absolutely the future of video games. This came out, I think, around the time that L.A. Noir came out, too. That was like the era of absolutely terrible, good-looking games. God, L.A. Noir has aged so badly. That game looks like shit. It looks so bad. Can we play that while this loads? This level terrified you as a kid. When you describe it to your friends, they think you're insane. I don't remember what this is. Is this the, the chase sequence in the grocery store? I remember that one being like pretty memorable for me. Oh, the car bit? I think this is where you can die. I wish it had a warning where it's like, if you die here, you fucking die forever. Like, just so I know what I could fail as a QTE just to get, like, extra animations versus, like, what I can fail as a QTE to literally end his storyline. Did the remaster of Eleanor look any better? I didn't think it, it even got a remaster. What is going on with the loading times? It's your first viewing of the game other than the meme. Yeah, it's a very messy game, but it's a very messy game, especially in terms of subject matter. It handles a lot of shit poorly, but at the same time, like I think it's it's definitely still worth a playthrough just to see how fucked up it is. And at the time that it came out, it was like genuinely an important game. Like there weren't games like this that were like at this scale. I wonder if it did crash. I feel like it might just be taking forever to load. He's looking real worried. All right, let me try and reload it then. Oh my God. I right clicked on the taskbar and went to close it. And then a, a fucking Windows uh, prompt just showed up in all caps saying, are you sure you wish to exit the game? All right, let me restart it. We got pretty far into it. We got four hours into it, and that's like our first crash, which is pretty good. I'm probably going to play this for another like 20-ish 20, 20 minutes. So we already hit... Oh, shit. Yeah, we're already way above four hours. I didn't expect to go this long. This game came out in 2009? I thought it was 2010. Uh, uh... The bear. I think it's this. Can't wait to see what will become of De Detroit Become Human. From what I've seen of Detroit and heard about Detroit Become Human, it is just as messy, if not more messy subject matter-wise, and gameplay... I have not really seen a lot about it, but I'd be shocked if it was as funny as this. I think this one is so, like, tries to be so normal, like, like, normal cinema type deal, whereas I think Detroit Become Human, probably the, the spectacle is, like, in how poorly it handles its subject matter. I don't remember this. Is this the saw part? <clears throat> oh yeah i think i remember this is the whole or is this the part with the glass tunnel i think i remember this maybe i'm mixing it up can't stop thinking about that well sean seemed exhausted but at least he's alive i'll do any excuse me 
Hey. Oh. Huh. Sorry. Didn't see you. Uh, what can I do you for? Ooh. I'd like to get my car. I also I I do have Indigo Prophecy and and Omicron, um, but those are pretty old. I've never played those. I know nothing about those. I definitely remember I played Heavy Rain as a kid. Hey, you're a pretty patient guy. You are. That car's been there for two years. We took it out for a drive every month and check the tires and batteries, just like you said. Here. It's the third floor down. The service elevator is at the far end of the garage. Thanks. Ah, you have yourself a good one, Chief. Omicron is incomprehensible? Yeah, I know nothing about it. Maybe that'd be worth checking out at some point. Dozens of cars, but which one am I looking for? Dark premonition? You mean deadly premonition? I have that on PS5 uh, on PS3. I never I never really played through that game much though. You can't stream Indigo Prophecy. I remember buying Deadly Premonition because people were like, oh, it's a funny game. It's so weird. I remember genuinely having a hard time like playing it. It was pretty, it was pretty rough when I tried it. Has a sex scene in it. Well, this game does too. I don't. I don't know if like, because we, when we played Friday the Thirteenth, there was a sex scene in it. There weren't any nips though, and I know people freak out about nips, so I don't know. I can't tell with Twitch. Because people also stream GTA Five, and that has like everything. Your destination in it. is four miles from here. Leave the parking lot. Oh fuck this part! Right. Oh my god. I just remembered. Let's go. I wish I could manually save and then copy this to another slot. Is there no? Is there any? Does anyone if there? If, blah, 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 does anyone know if there's a way to do that? I really want to fuck this sequence up really bad. I'm worried about killing Ethan here because I know there's a part that I definitely want to do with the finger. The whole saw bit. And you know what? Maybe I will actually look for the save file. Does anyone know where the save file is? I'm just going to copy it to my desktop right now. Where would that be? Would that be in the Steam library? Mm. 
Let me see. I am playing the Steam version, yeah. Why is there... Oh, a uh, MISC folder. Resources. Game data. No. Big file. Wow, this game's files are fucking weird. Big file underscore win. Big file underscore win do2. I'm gonna look in documents. Let's see. I do have it saved to this to the Steam Cloud. Oh, user profile saved games heavy rain. Thank you. Thank you for that. I will do that really quick. That way, so I'm gonna wrap up soon anyways. I just wanna fuck this entire sequence up. So. Saved games, why does it save it? Wow, this this is like one of the only games I know that uses the Windows like saved games folder, along with Paranormal Activity VR and Rambo the video game. <laughs> okay. I'm copying it right now. Wow. Love to see... Love to see it be called test. My save file is just called test. Alright. Yeah, it's the Rambo game where it opens with them saying, Rambo's dead and it's good you that he died. Your destination. I think I streamed that. Are you ready to show your courage in order to save your son? As Bebo, Bebo is still wandering the neighborhood. Take the highway. All right, here we go. Drive against the traffic for five miles. If you haven't reached your destination in five minutes, you will have failed. Here to die, hope, Sean. <laughs> I can do it. I'd do anything to save my son. I can't stop my hands shaking. I'm not going to make it. I'm. I'm not going to make it. I don't want to die. Not here. Not like this. If I succeed, I'll get more letters for the hangar. It's my only lead. No turning back now. Go, pedal the metal, bro. Hit it. I've got to do it. For Sean's sake. I have no choice. Wrong way. Come on. <laughs> I can do this. Come on. There are no consequences for failing me. Oh, was that me? I wonder if I should reload and see how that sequence goes if I keep doing it. I think I'm gonna reload. That was really fast. Oh, I don't think even it saved.
Oh, okay. Eh, I don't know if it's worth it or not. Probably not. I remember playing that I remember playing that when I was younger and being being like, Wow, this is hard. I can't believe my character hasn't died yet. I actually felt like I was uh Yeah, the characters are protected for a while. They played the shitty scene in her apartment yet? That is the literal first scene that she's in. Reception. The atmosphere here is one of concern as there is still no news of 10 year old Sean Mars who disappeared yesterday. A recent report yesterday. Says that the police are now treating this as another kidnapping by the origami killer. If yeah, nobody can say or origami right. Origami. Ew. Hello there, sweetheart. What can I do for you? I'd like a room. For you? Anything. Hmm. Feeling the register. Yeah, just in case you weren't sure this guy's a pervert. Look at all the evidence. <laughs> Madison Page, 27, single. How long will you be staying with us, Ms. Page? I don't know yet. Room 201. Last floor, stairs on the right, in the courtyard. Thanks. The pleasure was all mine. Yeah. That's for sure. Oh, motorcycle, though. Um, single, um, single, um. That obnoxious receptionist better not have a spare key to my room. The thought of it leaves me in a cold sweat. Room 201. Stairs on the right and the last floor. Room. Room 201. Stairs on the right, last floor. Room 201. Stairs on the right, last floor. Room 201. Stairs on the right, last floor. There's someone there. Is he... is he wounded? Um, who? What? Was that Ethan? How does he end up here? Sir? Are you alright? <laughs> I'll call an ambulance. No ambulance. No ambulance, You're please. badly hurt. You need a doctor. Please, just help me to my room. 
Oh, I guess he was staying at the motel. It's number 207. I forgot about that. Oh, I'm... Sp Look, it's none of my business. I'll just leave him there and tell the receptionist. Oh, oh. Have you got the key? How'd you get this hurt? I messed up all my QTEs on the highway. Bye. I'll help him first and ask questions later. You're really in bad shape. You should see a doctor. Must have one, maybe two broken ribs. It's not fatal. But it's sore as hell. You don't think this game passes the the Bechdel test? I your head is bleeding. <laughs> probably tell you that it doesn't. <laughs> I love that the, every ma medicine cabinet looks the same in this game. I'll take some of this. Just cuts. And I'll. Oh, no, I'll put it back, I guess. Paraphenol anti-fever. Administer only in cases of high fever. Necofrin 100 antibiotics. Administer to combat infection. Bro, I don't want you to turn infected. Take Here. this. Take this. It should do you some good. What is it? It's an antibiotic. An antibiotic? I'm no doctor, but I don't think there's any risk of infection <laughs> with a broken rib. Okay, I'll see if I can find anything else. <laughs> oh god, I need medical assistance. Alright, I found some antibiotics. Paracamol painkiller. Administer in cases of intense pain. He do seems fine. More than one pill every 24 hours. We'll just do the top one. I should disinfect his cuts. I'm gonna disinfect your wound. This might hurt a little. Sorry. Are you okay? S sorry. I'll try to be more careful. Listen, thanks for your help, but oh, I think oh, I no. can take it from here. Right. Uh, oh. <laughs> I gotta go. Wow. By the way, I'm Ethan. Madison. That was a really weird sequence. Man, I'm thirsty. Maybe I should sit in the chair. I don't know why she helped me. I hope she won't tell anyone. Did I? Oh, did I ruin the chance at the at the sex scene? Of course he can pee. I 
I don't think she's gone forever. No, I think they crossed paths at some point. I remember though that it's in this hotel. It's in this motel that you get like one of the worst sex scenes in video game history. <laughs> and I kind of don't want to show it because of Twitch, but also like it's one of the most awkward scenes I think in a video game. I think it's worth documenting just for that, but. I think I, I think I accidentally made it, like, skipped it. Oh, yes, I forgot. Yes, you could do the half, the half motion QTE with his mouth. Oh, I have to do it. Is this, did I fuck it up then? Did I fuck it up? Oh, it's later? Okay. Yeah, because I know that it happened. I don't know if you could even skip it. You can skip it, you just reject the kiss. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, why? I wonder why she helped me. He's fucking bleeding. Half his head is cut open. Prepared to suffer to save your son, the old power plant. Slaw. Oh, game over. Oh, this is the glass tunnel part. I remember that. I think that's a good place to end it tonight. It's been almost five hours. I definitely want to stream this again. I probably, I mean, I don't know. Depend, considering how, how I play this game, I might have another stream left. I might have two, who knows. Um, but that was fun. The beginning was incredible. But from what I remember, the game gets pretty crazy later on. I'm looking forward to getting to those parts that really you could really fuck up pretty royally. But yeah, I'm going to pause it here. I'm going to pause it here. We're going to continue. Uh, well, this is it. This is the grocery store. I'm debating. I think I'm going to keep the grocery store for the next stream. So we'll, the next stream, we will start with the grocery store chase. So that'll be a good... That'll be a good, um, a good way to open the next stream. That'll be a nice little something to look forward to. So, so yeah, this is heavy rain. Um, messy game, but I honestly love, I love games like this. These like cinematic shit, like a way out. I love games like this. And they're also, I love streaming them too. It's so much fun. It's so much fun to get to mess around with the animations and stuff. I wish more games like this were made, but. It was worth it was worth revisiting this this classics of game. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for tuning into the stream. He's the angriest gamer you've ever heard. He's the angriest. Thank you for tuning in. I will see you all soon. I'm pretty sure the next stream is going to be Wednesday. So not tomorrow, the day after. Um, and we might be doing GTA San Andreas myth hunting. That might be what we do Wednesday. Um, but it could change because that one I have a lot of stuff pre to prepare for that stream. So obviously I'll let y'all know. Um, I'll let y'all know what... I end up doing 
And if you want to keep up to date, you know you can hop in the Discord. That is where all the stream announcements are posted. And uh, I will see you all very soon. Thank you for watching. Thank you for the support. And uh, I'll see you all soon. Enjoy your Monday night. Enjoy your Tuesday. Yeah. I will see y'all soon. Peace out. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Video game nerd.